Well, on the topic of champions, uh-huh. <laughs> I have a prompt for us. Okay. Because I, I, I was stumped with this. I couldn't think. Of the current roster of UFC champions, mm-hmm. who do you think is the weakest or worst, worst, I guess is another way to word it, champion? Does women women's MMA count? Um, or no? I feel like that'd be a different category, you know. Okay, fair. Um, it's hard. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's a tie. Okay. <laughs> It's a tie between Aljamain Sterling and and Brandon Moreno. Oof. Ooh. That's the tie. Damn. <laughs> you said they're the word all weakest, so good. But you said the word weakest. Well, not like physically weakest. That's <laughs> obviously if you pick the 125 pound man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gonna be weaker than like John Jones or something. <laughs> you took it literally. <laughs> no, I mean like I quit. I, I quit the s- show. I quit. I just show. don't want to say worst because like none of them are bad. They're all right. They're literally the best of their division. Yeah, but like I mean, I guess the obvious choice would would be to say Jamal Hill because like. But is he though? No, that's why I'm not picking him because yeah. I don't think he because that's what I saw. I saw a lot of oh Jamal Hill. Right. But I don't think what... he's the at all. I think he's. Very complete. Very, yeah, totally. No, I really like, do. I've, I've believed in Jamal level. Hill for a long time. I just think that that would be the obvious choice that people would pick. Um, yeah. I'm going to... Um, dude, okay, I'll just say Brandon Moreno then. And I love Brandon Moreno. But I'm saying mm. Brandon Moreno. I'd go... I, I, I'm an Aljo fan, but I, I'm going with Aljo. Okay. So I you're fine with least... my... You're fine with me putting both of them together, right? No, because I don't agree with Brandon. Dude, Pantoja is gonna beat him though. Ooh, I forgot about that coming up. That's gonna happen, and then he's not gonna have his belt anymore. Like, dude, Pantoja is—he's scary, like Alex. I trained with Pantoja. <laughs> I I did a week of. I'm serious. I did a whole week of Muay Thai oh, with Alessandro oh, Pantoja. Here, here we go. Here we I go. Did. Salvador what? the Ox Garcia. Yeah, dude. Sparred with Pantoja. No, no, no. I did not spar. He was, you did, dude. You did. He you was the teacher for out. the week. Oh, you yeah, choke. Yeah, yeah. You choke. You don't remember. You know, but I don't like to talk about sparring sessions. What, stay, right, what, right. what happens in right. the gym stays in the gym. That's but, why I'm here. I'll talk about it. I'll say what happened. Yeah. You had him in a rear naked choke, uh-huh. and he was calling for uh, – dude, I think he he spit out blood, and he needed his water by the end of it, right? I don't. I can't say. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you really you no, went to he, a camp? He was teaching a camp. Well, no, no, no. I was. I had Muay Thai every week, and uh-huh. for that week, our coach couldn't come in. So <laughs> we were like, "Oh, who's gonna fill in?" And they're like, "Oh, Alexander Pantoja." And we're like, "Oh, what? okay, that's pretty cool." So for the was, whole week of classes, so I think we got like two or three classes. He was our coach, and um, it's it kind of terrifying how hard an 125 pound man can hit. That dude was he, was he hitting you? No, no, but you hold pads. <laughs> and, like, I held the, the leg shield for you take a leg kick. And yep. it, like, almost sweeps you off your feet. And that's holding a pad in front of me. And you're, like, standing with a solid base so you don't lose your balance. Uh-huh. And dude's just like, pah! And it's loud. I mean. Damn. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Do you think and, I, and I'm not small. Like, he was a lot smaller than me. But, uh, yeah, UFC fighters are whole other. MMA fighters in general. Um, but does he beat Moreno? Well, he's beat him before. Right. Twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's not even really like a rivalry. It's just like he's going to go. He's literally yeah. going, give me my belt. <laughs> he's going Alex Pereira, Alex Pereira on him. He is. Um, but I mean, Brandon has gotten so much better over the last just two or three years. Yeah. Uh, like noticeably better every fight. Um, 
I don't know, man. That's one of those that like I wouldn't be able to pick. I just have to see it happen. Dude, what did I Brandon mean, Moreno do in this last fight that was that impressive? Are you a hater? Are you a Brandon Moreno hater? No, I love him. I'm just saying I don't think he's gonna get through. Dude, these feather these featherweights that are coming or uh, flyweights that are coming up are are frightening. I mean, technically, he's still in that class. He's what, like twenty nine? I think the ones that are coming up that are not even cracking like the top five right now are going to be a problem for a while. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, what does I it mean, have to do with him beating Pantoja? Well, he's not going to beat Pantoja. Because Pantoja is a, a lot older. A lot older than Moreno? Yeah. Pantoja is like older? 34, 35. Is he? Yeah. All right, let's go Moreno. Come on, young blood, <laughs> young blood. No, dude, I don't know. Point. He's just scary. He is Sca- very scary. Sc- like Brandon thirty-two. Was- so I, m- I made it up. Okay, a he's in the prime of his career right now. He is scary though. I meeting him is like he was nice, but it's like I don't. I'm sorry if I look at you wrong. Like I don't. Yeah, please don't hurt he, me. He has fighter energy where. Brian yeah. Moreno has come over and let's play a board game energy. Uh, let's build Legos. <laughs> yeah.